Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I've got a lot of unboxings coming your way this month. It seems like that's what I'm filming. I don't know why, but November seems unboxing heavy for me. So obviously I'm here for November's Beacon book box and let's just jump into it. You guys know the drill by now. You know how the routine works. All of the information, rep codes and everything and website will be down in the description for you guys in case you would like to partake in the Beacon book box in the future. Okay, let's see. Ah, uh, there is a feather just floating on out here, so that's fun. So we have a variety of packing things in here. I see like one of those air pack things. I see paper. This is our spoiler card. Our theme for, I don't know why I looked at the back. Our theme for November is crucial competitions. So let's get into it. So the first thing that I obviously have to get to is this. Oh my God, is this an actual pen? This is a literal quill. I'm dead. Uh, this is amazing. So this is an actual pen. Do you twist it? Oh yeah, you do twist it. So the top comes out and it says, imagine and it shall be. What's that from? I mean, that could be from so many different things, but I just wanna, ooh, I have the kitten in here. Instant cat toy satisfying. Also, here is Cricket. She is massive and huge. Oh, and only wants the feather. This was a mistake. Okay, so according to the uh, spoiler card, this is Crown's Game inspired. That is a very short quote. It just says, imagine and it shall be. I will do that. It shall be a cat toy. Okay, the next thing in the box goes with the little feather pen. Uh, and guys, this was made for me. We have a notepad, and as you guys can see, there is the outline or silhouette of a horse. There's a quote from the Scorpio races at the bottom of this, and this is also, oh, this is actually really cool. I thought this was just a line notepad. It actually says book title, author, and notes. So this is like a note-taking sheet for book reviews, or just like reading in general, but it's Scorpio races themed, so I love it. In case you guys missed it, I did an entire reading vlog where I reread the Scorpio races at the beginning of November, because you know, it's fitting for November. Also fitting to have that in the box. Good job, Beacon. Okay, the next thing is some sort of multifunctional headwear is what this says. Oh man, so this can be like a scarf, a headband, wristband, hair tie, rally towel, face mask. So basically it is a loop of fabric is what I'm taking away from that. But it does look like, I'm guessing this is night circus themed, which will make me a very happy Chelsea. It gives you many ideas on how to wear it on the little package. But I believe this is just... A loop of fabric. Indeed, it is. Okay, so it's a big old tube, but look at that print. I can't. This is so pretty. Look at it. You guys know how I feel about like circus and carnival themed books. Ah, oh, so this is amazing. So this is just like a big old loop of fabric that you can kind of use as anything. You can use it as like a headband, just, you know, like that. You can loop it around, wear it as like a bracelet, whatever you want to do. You can use it as a scrunchie, face mask, the list goes on. So that's fun. I like that a lot. That's also pretty unique as far as items go. Haven't gotten anything like that before. Next thing, oh, it's actually in paper and these feel like posters. So I am correct. Oh man, there are Four, I think these are Hunger Games themed, and I think they're all the same, actually. So we have two and two in each of these little things. Um, may the odds be ever in your favor. And may the odds be ever in your favor. Okay, so yeah, these are all... The, ooh, these are nice feeling. Um, these are all the same coaster, and that is what they look like. It's focusing on my eyeball. Can you guys see it? It has cork on the back. I'm guessing that means... Yep, we have four of them, which is honestly a really nice set. Normally when you get heavy stone coasters, you get like one or two in the box. So that's lovely. Okay, and the next one is we each survive in our own way, which is a throne of glass quote, but this is a beautiful print. So this is just a little pouch. You guys kind of get the gist of pouches by now. These can literally be used for anything. I'm honestly probably gonna use this for makeup brushes because it seems like a good size for like travel makeup brushes. Um, but I really like this print mainly because of the little like deer heads and crowns that are floating around and the sword. Ooh, and then the book is just right here. <laughs> so the book is Crown of Oblivion, which I've heard really good things about. Um, this is, oh, I didn't expect this to be a glossy cover. Um, this is by Julie Eshba 
and freedom lies across the finish line. Ooh. Um, so inside of it, we get an author letter that you guys totally can't see because that's way too washed out. And it looks like this book is indeed signed, which is lovely. Let's find out what this is about. Ooh, this is interesting. So this is like YA fantasy, but it's dealing with surrogates. Not like surrogate mother, like stand-in people. So we are following Astrid, who is a surrogate to a princess, as in she is the like stand-in for this person. So if the princess steps out of line, Astrid is the one who gets whipped. Oh man, that's rough. So clearly that's not a great life. So she's trying to get out and the only way to get out is to compete in the deadly race of oblivion. First the racers are doused with a drug called oblivion which wipes their memories and then when they awake in the middle of nowhere only cryptic clues and the sheer will to live lead them through treacherous terrain full of opponents who wouldn't think twice of killing each other. Oh man, this sounds intense. That is a long book to be that intense. I'm ready for this. This sounds really cool. I I mean I've seen this cover floating around. Oh it's red with a black spine. I've seen this cover floating around, but I didn't actually read the description until right now. So that totally sounds up my alley. That sounds like a white knuckle ride. And in the bottom of the box, we always do get a recipe card, which is like somewhat fandom related. So this is for Madame Rosemurda's butter beer cookies. Oh man, that sounds like a good holiday recipe. Um, Oh, it's like a butterscotch cookie with white chocolate chips and butterscotch chips. Oh, that sounds great. And on the back, we do have a like quotey art print, which is kind of nice because in case you don't want to use the recipe, you still get like a little thing. So that is everything that came in the November Beacon book box, including this kitten. Nope, she's done. She's out of the box now. <laughs> So I hope you guys enjoyed this. As always, all the information and rep codes in case you guys would like to subscribe to them are down in the description box below. As always, I will see you guys in my next video.